Free from the rigorous schedule of a full-time series, Vanessa took the time to pursue a few interests. She returned to the stage to appear with Brian in the play Starfire and did a couple of independent films like This Space Between Us and Nice Guys Sleep Alone. Hello, Aaron. You looking hot? Of course you always look that way. Yeah, right. Um, Susan, my old sorority sister, the one who's finishing law school, she saw your picture, and she has been asking about you ever since. So just say the word, and I'll set you two up. Yeah, why are you so anxious to do that? Because if I can't have you, one of my friends having you is the next best thing. It was just fun. It was a group of people who um, weren't getting paid much, and, and everyone was there because they were passionate about the project. In 2001, Vanessa was doing guest work on NYPD Blue when an unexpected event changed everything. She became pregnant. She just glowed all over. I didn't believe it at first because it just didn't seem like it could be a reality. When it finally sunk in after she said, Mom, I'm going to have a baby. Oh, okay, I'll be right over. She looks exactly like she always looks. She's always beautiful, but she just had this belly. I think absolutely by far the most beautiful woman I've ever seen pregnant. And then the delivery itself was, you know, <laughs> if you've never had a baby before, how do you know what's gonna happen? And it was, it was big, it was big. She called me and said, Mom, I can't believe you went through this four times how did you do this because she's tiny she went through a point where it was getting a little cramped he was taking up a little too much space i was like okay just you know you're doing great two more to go you're on it and she grabbed me <laughs> she grabbed me by my shirt and like my neck and face and pulled me down into her and she went don't ever have a baby <laughs> <laughs> which she subsequently retracted <laughs> On March 30th, 2002, Vanessa gave birth to a son named Cassius because his father, Brian Austin Green, is a Muhammad Ali fan. I kind of threw it out there at first, expecting it to not go any further, <laughs> and she liked it. Cassius is the most incredible, gorgeous, intelligent, beautiful child I've ever met in my life, and um, it's only fitting with who his mom is. She's a great mom. Becoming a mother has <clears throat> affected my outlook on everything. I'm not as afraid of everything, and I am calm and happy, even in the midst of the insanity that goes on still inside of myself. It just doesn't get to me as much as it used to. And I'll tell you that Brian is a great dad, and that I am proud of myself every day that I've chosen such a great man to be my son's father. You know, for most of the people that, that we're close to have, you know, dad issues of some sort or another, and we all just sit around and go like, oh, he's such, he's such a great dad. And I just think, wow, I brought a child into the world who is not going to have to go through the struggles that I have to go through. Having a child gave Vanessa the opportunity to take some time off from work and focus on other things that are important to her, like Sojourn House a charity providing a safe place for women and children to escape abusive homes. Basically, they are providing what nobody provided for my mother. There wasn't really a place when my mother was young where uh, she, she could go and say, I need help. That always want, makes me want to cry because it's the place that I never had to go. So it's very rewarding to see that she's so interested in doing those things and helping other women in similar situations. Her goal is to make every woman on the planet aware of the fact that there's some place you can go. There's somebody you can call. You don't have to be in this alone. I, I believe that uh, kids who can be taken out of that bad situation it can change their whole entire lives, what they might achieve. and 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 that some people might not realize, just like me, that they just need one person to say, I believe in you. You can do whatever you want. That's all it took for me. Next, Vanessa returns triumphantly to Port Charles. It meant a lot to me to be acknowledged by, by my peers. When we return to Lifetime's Intimate Portrait, we now return to Lifetime's Intimate Portrait of Vanessa Marcel.
After working so hard for nearly 10 years without a break, Vanessa Marcel happily took some much-deserved time off to be with her baby, Cassius. In 2002, Vanessa felt ready to return to work, and she decided to go back to the beginning. Well, I think that that's a door that she always loved having open. General Hospital is family for her. If you're lucky as an actor, you get to play one character that you were born to play, and I believe I was born to play Brenda. Vanessa had grown in her years away, and when she brought that growth back with her, it showed. I believe when you leave a show and you come back and you're the same as you were, what's the point? But when you leave a show, then you come back and you're so much better, that's the way it should be. In 2002, Vanessa's hard work was rewarded with a Daytime Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actress. Oh no, T too nervous to talk. Cheat sheet. I want to thank ABC, Jill, Bob, Chuck, uh, Wendy Rich, Mark Teschner, John Homa. I want to thank the cast and crew of General Hospital, the best group of people I have ever worked with. The truth. I miss you guys every day. Well, even though I think that stuff shouldn't really matter, to me it, it's how I feel about my, my work at the end of the day. I got to say, it may, when, when you win one, then suddenly you go, you know, a little bit. <laughs> she'd call and she'd go, oh my god, I have, I'm carrying the statue. I have this thing. I still take, take it all with a grain of salt, but it was, it meant a lot to me to be acknowledged by, by my peers. But Vanessa also found that working on a series again presented a new problem now that she was a mother. She was spending too many hours away from her son. I wasn't willing to hire a nanny. I didn't want a stranger to raise my son. She turned to the one person she could trust to help raise Cassius while she spent long days on set. She did probably the most amazing thing that she ever could have done for me and quit her job and came and moved in with me to watch him. It's a continuing learning process for her and me because it's a whole new ball game raising a kid nowadays. After a happy six month return to General Hospital that renewed her joy in acting, Vanessa left again to join a new NBC nighttime drama called Las Vegas. We had seen a lot of people. We just weren't finding the right person. She walked through the door, and that was uh, pretty much it. My character's name is uh, Samantha Jane Marquez, and she's, she's the badass chick. She's uh, completely different than any other character I've ever played. Don't look so surprised. All's fair in love, war, and casino hosting. You went out with me just to try to get information. You went out with me just to try to get me into bed. Yeah, but I never tried to get information out of you. <laughs> so you think I was actually flirting with you? Behind her smile and her eyes, you're not sure exactly what she's thinking, whether she's going to do good or do bad. As part of an ensemble cast with veterans like James Caan and Nikki Cox, Josh Duhamel and newcomer Marsha Thomason, for the first time, Vanessa had the opportunity to help create a series from the beginning. The thing I like the best, actually, is that it's such a good show. Everybody on it's so good, so I learn a lot from all the other actors. She's just really smart and funny and kind and just a real joy to have around. She's, she's got really great energy. She carries enormous weight with this part, um, and, and she really pulls it off. She has great power and tremendous presence. I'm really in a like working here. In the 15 years since she left home, Vanessa Marcel has grown from a confused child into a strong woman. And though a few of her opportunities may have come her way by chance, the success she made of them came from hard work, not just on her craft, but on herself. She really worked hard to make herself a better person year after year after year. And for the rest of us in, in the family, um, she's actually an inspiration to us to do the same. She is so committed to being happy and being herself and being true to people. I'm quite proud of her. She's a very strong woman and very, um, she tries to help so many people and I, I see her kindness to all the people that she works with and that just really makes me very proud. There's one thing that I've definitely learned in my life and that is that the, the, gr the girl that I, in, it, inside of myself, feels damaged or feels like um, scared or, or feels like I may not be good enough for things. If I can just say to her, 
yes, I understand how you feel, I'm sorry you feel that way, and then set her aside for a second and act as if I'm the girl who doesn't feel that way, I almost always end up having success. Becoming successful is hard work. Finding happiness can be even harder. Vanessa Marcel has earned both. And is it my imagination or is she more beautiful than ever? For Lifetime's Intimate Portrait, I'm Meredith Vieira.